Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is Abituba. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find the highest common factor for uh, these two numbers. So 196 and 38220. Uh, so this is 38,220. Uh, if you haven't studied uh, the basic procedure to go about it and you want to try uh, the process using uh, the simpler numbers, so there's a, there's a card that's showing there right now. So you can go to that video to help you out. Essentially, uh, last time we were introducing this, we said uh, this is a stepwise process. So we're going to adhere to our, to our processes, to our steps. So the first steps we said uh, would express the numbers as product of their prime factors. So the numbers uh, which you're comparing, so 196 and 38,220, we're going to express them as products of their prime numbers. So we said uh, we'd use the T diagram. So this, this is what you'd use. So you'd use a T diagram. And then the T diagram here, you have 196. So 196, and then uh, you're supposed to, to divide uh, repeatedly using prime numbers only. So it's, it's important for you to actually know the prime numbers, at least uh, uh, starting from two and then up to 13, okay? So I'm going to start with two here, just because my number ends in six. So two must be a factor. So two into nine, 10, I'm getting nine here up to eight, 10, remember one, okay? Into 16, I'm getting eight, and then two into uh, 98, because this one ends in eight, so I can still repeat two here. So two into nine, then I get four, up to eight, then I'm, I'm, I'm getting remainder one, okay? So into eight, 10, I'm getting nine like this, okay? 49, uh, seven is definitely a factor, okay? So seven by, by seven, that does when you get 49, so this one would be seven, this one would be seven, this one would be one, okay? So here, what I'm going to do, presentation is very important. So I'm going to write equal to, and then just straight up uh, express this number, this product. The product, remember, is the product of these factors that you're using here. So instead of writing the actual factors, what you can do is just try to write directly. So I'm going to uh, write the factors anyway. So I'm going to write two by two by seven by seven. But then once you get a hang of it, this step you can actually, you can actually skip I'm going to show you what you be required to, to write, okay? So here we say it express the, the as its products of their prime numbers, but then we also want an extra step where you where you put in index form. So index form is the, the powers form, okay? So this step, it's, it's important. So we're going to do the same procedure. We're going to do what we did here, but then we are, we are going to uh, do for the, for the other numbers. So I'm going to purpose. Uh, this T that I already uh, that I had already drawn, so this one is thirty eight thousand two hundred and twenty. So here I'm going to start with five. Uh, my number ends in zero, so when a number ends in zero, five is definitely a factor. I could have started with two, but two is um. I don't like two just because my my numbers they won't reduce very fast. Okay, five makes for a good reduction. So here five into thirty eight, you get seven up to thirty five. Okay, so you're left with three, and then five into thirty two. You get 6 up to 30, then you're left with 2, then 5 into 22, you get uh, 4 up to 20, then you're left with 2, then 5 into 20, then you get 4 again, okay? Now I'm going to try 2, because my number ends in an even number, okay? So 2 into 7, I get 3, then remainder 1, so 2 into 16, I get 8, or 2 into 4, I get 2, 2 into 4, I get 2. So 2 again, into 3, I get 1, remainder 1, then here I get 9, then 22, two, then I get one, then here I get one as well, okay? So now we, we have to uh, guess some of our factors. So they, they, there isn't one way of actually going about it, but then here, you, you were seeing the seven here. So it's, it's possible that, because when, when, they're, when they're setting your, your, your numbers, when they are choosing what numbers to test you for, they actually sometimes are mindful of the factors such that you have common factors for, for at least uh, the sum of the numbers, okay? So here, there's no one clear factor. What you can do is you can try, try three or you can try seven, because I'm, I'm seeing seven here. What I'm going to do is to try both, so we're going to try three first. So if you say three into, into 19, you get up to, up to 18, okay, six times, then remainder one. Then three into 11, you get uh, up to, you get up to three, uh, then remainder, uh, up to up to nine, uh, you get three, okay, then remainder uh, two, then into 21, you get seven here. So three is definitely a factor, which is good. So we don't have to try seven 
So you get uh, 63, 637 like this, okay? But what you notice is that 7 is definitely a factor. Why? Because uh, 7 gets into 63, you don't live in your remainder. So I'm going to say 7 here. 7 into, uh, into 63, uh, you get, uh, you get 9, okay? So 7 into 63, you get 9, because 9 times 7, you get 63. And then 7 into 7, uh, you get 1, like this, okay? So we get, uh, we get 91 here. So 91. Uh, 7 is it's a it's definitely a factor for 91 okay so we're going to uh, put 7 here and then 7 into 9 you get um, you get 1 remainder 2 then into 21 then you get 3 okay so so sometimes it's it's important for you to at least have uh, a general idea on how they, they set these questions if 7 was included here then I it was uh, a, a reasonable uh, guess to say maybe 7 is a factor for this other number here, okay? So 91 seems like a prime factor, but then it's not, prime, not like a prime number, but then it's not actually a prime number. And we see that because 7 is, is definitely a factor here. So here, we try 13, obviously 13, it's a, it's a prime number, then we get 1. So here, I'm going to collect my numbers. So this is 2, I'm going to start with these uh, uh, smaller numbers. So 2 by 2 by 3 and then by 5 and then by 7 by 7 and then by 13 so some sometimes one of the mistakes that you can make is to forget a number here so it's good for you to count uh, to check inventory okay like you're selling in a tuck shop and then you're checking if you have all the stuff with you okay so this is one two uh three this is one two then three then four then five then six then seven numbers so here i have one two three four five six seven so which is good Afterwards, you 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 put your equal signs here. It's it's good for you to put them in a straight line. Okay. After doing that, you take your your numbers. You convert to index form. So index form is uh, each factor here. You write it only once, and then you write the the power for the number of factors that you actually have, or number of the same factors that you actually have. Here we have two twos, so it's going to be two to the power two. Um, multiply by three. We only have one there. Multiply by five. Multiply by seven squared. Multiply by thirteen. So this is the this is the first stage. So after doing the first stage here, you take the common factors. So the HCF would be equal to you take the, only the common factors. That's, that's what uh, this instruction is saying. Um, I actually have to let me just remove the spot. So after after doing this, you take the what's uh, the, the common factors so, so the common factors here would be just this two and then the sevens okay so it'd be two multiply by seven and then where there's a conflict you take the lower power these two this 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 is two to the power two this is two to the power two so they're in, in agreement the lower power would be be just two to the power two okay between the them so it's also the same thing with this uh this 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 is seven to power two this is seven to the power two i could have just I, it gives seven to the power two. If this were seven to the power three, then you'd have taken seven to the power two. That's what this instruction means. Okay, so where there's a conflict, you have to take the lower power. That's what the, the instruction means. And then the last step, the last step is to perform the calculation when necessary. Obviously, it's necessary here. Uh, what you do is to expand. So here you get uh, four. Here you get uh, uh, 49, 7 squared, it's, it's 49. So here we are going to, to take 4 multiplied by 49, so 4 multiplied by 9, then you get 36 or 6, then K3 obviously, then 4 multiplied by, by 4, then you get 16, then plus 3, then you get uh, 19, so you get 196 at the end of the day. Okay, so this, the highest common factor for uh, 196, and this one is actually 196. Uh, you can also test it out by just taking your calculator and then saying uh, 38220 divided by 196. If you get a definite answer, I'm getting 195 uh, right now. So it means uh, we are correct, okay? 196 is definitely a factor. So that's essentially how you, you go about doing this. If you're interested in uh, knowing the uh, concepts and you know having some easy ways of working out problems, then consider joining our course on, on premier.com, okay? So we actually offer the courses where we start with uh, the basics. Uh, for example, how do you identify prime numbers? Which prime numbers are you expect, expected to recall from memory? So that's uh, essentially it for, for this part. Okay, I'll catch you in the next video. Yuba out.